What a story. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's what the FA Cup is about. I mean, yeah, it's just brilliant and lost for words. Uh, obviously, these are the moments that you remember as a player. <clears throat> and um, every single one of us today was on it. And um, it was just brilliant, all in all. It was a, a totally dominant performance, wasn't it? Probably the best you could hope for in a game like this. Yeah, like this, like I was saying on the bench, I was like, it looks like we're playing at home. But um, now we, we dominated the ball, we dominated possession, and uh, we had a few chances. And I feel like uh, this is uh, just like the, it's the right result, to be honest. It, it was one of those games where the, the chances kept coming but weren't taken, and, and the time was ticking by. Did you wonder whether the, the chance had gone away? I mean, like I was hoping like to get on, and hopefully, like, as a player, you always want to like do an impact. And then, obviously, after uh, the ball came, came came well, and then obviously I just put my head on it, and it went in. Luckily, I mean, it was inspired substitutions, wasn't it? Because it was Christian who came on, delivered the throw in, and, and there you were. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Gaffa, Gaffa told me he's going to score the winner, and uh, obviously I did. But um, yeah, like all in all, like don't don't take anything away from 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 the players that played uh, from the start. They, they put in a real, real shift and um, yeah, obviously all in all, we're just delighted to get the win and obviously get to the next round. I mean, the score is great anyway for a striker, but how does it feel in a, a game of this stature? Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, obviously, I was, uh, it was, let's say it was coming, like uh, um, had a few chances the last few games and obviously wasn't scoring, but I just uh, kept believing in myself and obviously today it went in, so it just it just proves it proves it again that you just have to be patient and trust your hard work and uh, obviously that's what I do I work hard off the pitch as well on the pitch um, and yeah today paid off yeah because because you had been scoring but then obviously just a slight change in formation and, and you find yourself on the bench it must be you know you're, you're kicking your heels yeah like I, as a, as a player you want to start every game don't get me wrong and obviously it was disappointing to not, not to not start a game but uh, that's where you have to trust the, the the staff and obviously the manager itself and that's what I did just uh, that's where that's why I'm professional uh, there's a reason why I wasn't starting and um, I respect it and then obviously today uh, it was good for me to come on and the lucky went the way it did and, and these games need to be savoured and these occasions need to be savoured don't they and, and, and uh, the players sometimes can freeze, but nobody did at all. No, like like I said, everyone was on it. Top, top, top performance from every single one of us. Um, and obviously, it made, it made it easier for me as well because obviously they they take on the most, the majority of the running, and uh, and then it was easier for me. But like, don't take anything away from all the players that uh, started the game. Absolutely brilliant, and I'm I'm over the moon. Because it's, it's it's the wanting possession when you haven't got it as well, which is the impressive thing at the moment for Lynn. Yeah, no, don't take anything away. Like like I said, I'm re I'm repeating myself. Like we're we're doing such, we're we're grafting we're grafting like hard on the training pitch, and uh, today it just showed that we 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 don't belong to this league. We 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 should be playing uh, in a higher division, and obviously we're doing well. But we can't get carried away. It's just another game, so we just got to keep going, and that's what we're doing. But obviously, all in all, we're absolutely delighted to be in the hat on Monday. And uh, let's see what happens now. Because this was a tough one, you know, coming to a League Two side, you know, and, and you're National North. That's, that's a big step. Yeah, like it just proves that we have players that are obviously are better than this league, again. Um, but when when the when when we saw the draw, we we all were confident the, to obviously play in this like play in this nice uh, stadium. Uh, but yeah, like we were all top, we were all on it today, and. Uh, all in all, just just happy. It went the way it did, and that must help as well. Coming to a stadium like this and surroundings like this, and that must help you lift your game. Yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, if, if there's a bubble on the pitch, uh, you, you don't like it as a player. You always want to have a flat surface, and uh, today that was definitely not. Uh, you can't, you can't, you couldn't blame the the pitch today. So uh, no, like all in all, it was good. But um, the pitch doesn't really matter. I, I only score headers, so. <laughs> Isn't it great though to think that yeah, we can wait now for the second round to find out who we're going to get. That's what it's about. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we get a good draw. And obviously, you saw the magic of the FA Cup today, and uh, let's see where it takes us. And you want more moments like that, don't you, to draw in with the fans at the end of the game? Yeah, oh, it's unreal. I mean, I got booked as well, but I don't, I don't really care about the yellow card, to be honest. But um, no, this, obviously, to, to the travelling fans, very, 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 like, thank you very much for coming, and uh, we all appreciate it, and have, we have to say, like, it wouldn't, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be possible without them, so, no, thank you every single one of us that made the trip to Doncaster. Chances 
came, chances went, yeah. penalty came, penalty went. Uh, what were your thoughts at half-time? Well, I thought we should have been ahead at, at half-time, but we weren't. And that has been an issue on, on occasions because we've been profligate in front of goal sometimes. But I don't think we missed chances today. I think the goalkeeper made some good saves. We made some great patterns of play to get to where we wanted to get to. Um, and we hit targets. We didn't, we didn't miss many by missing the, the target today, which is good. So from my point of view, I was delighted at half-time. And my words were, it's very hard to replicate that, but you've got to do a minimum of that to be nil, because we are. So a little bit of quality, if you like, different. It was different, but how we scored, it's not our way to goal usually, but uh, it is off his head, but not the way we got there. But I'm delighted. I think the crowd behind the goal sucked it over the line, which was brilliant. I was delighted, delighted for the fans. But it arguably needed something a little bit different to, to unlock them. Yeah, I mean, look, everybody wants to play 90 minutes all the time, all my lads do, and they don't like coming off, and Josh doesn't like coming off, and Ponch doesn't like coming off, but they've done hell of a shift, a pair of them. So to finish with two strikers like I had that are very different to the two that I started with, pose a different problem, it's a great position for me to be in. So, like I said, I don't care what level you're playing at. If you're six foot five and, and can jump and ahead of all, you're a handful, and that's what he is. This is where you get the plaudits. You t double substitution uh, and, and both involved in goal. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean that's that's just whimsical. It's one of them things. But uh, yeah, I, I knew Chris had a longer throw because I've worked with him before, and he said you want me to use it when I get on. I went absolutely, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I told Goldie before the game when I left him out the starting eleven that he'd score me the winning goal actually. So. It's a bit spooky, but uh, no, listen, I've got my family here. Um, my dad doesn't get to see me very often, but every time he has lately, we've won, so he'll be coming to a few more games, I think. In fact, <laughs> did you say to me before the game that last time was a one nil? It was, last time he came, we won one nil against Bromley. Oh yeah, so yeah, like I said, he'll be coming again. Uh, on, on goal though, we are just talking to him, you know, he, he was the top scorer, he was in a good run of form, mm -hmm. then a change meant that he was on the bench, but he's, he's been patient. Oh, he's been brilliant, uh, he's been consummate professional in that respect. All of them have, to be fair, because I have switched and, and moved the people around, I've, I've different starters, you know, I can play, we can play different shapes, therefore play different styles of football, so when he's on the pitch, obviously, we become a more aerial threat in their box, but, but he can play football, you know, at the end of the day, if we, if we go for a total football situation or sometimes we try to do that he can be involved in that as well so you just got to keep doing what he's doing as as the seconds and minutes tick by though did you think it was going to go to another game or did you still have the the, the feeling that it was going to be your day i was hoping it was i was hoping i was speeding the clock up in my mind but um no, we expect i expect them to to have a right good go to stay in the tie and they did you know they hit the bar the, the goalie's made a great save taking a couple of crosses but to a man we've defended Valiantly, you know, we put the bodies in front of the ball to block shots, to block crosses, and it's tough. It's, I tell you, anybody who's played football, when you haven't got it and you know you've got to hang on for the, whatever it was, I can't then you know when we scored, if I'm honest. But let's say 10 minutes, that's difficult because if on, in a training session they can keep it out the goal all day, but when it's a match, somebody just switches off for a second against that kind of quality of opposition, and you can you can be caught caught wanting. So now I'm, listen, I'm absolutely there. My voice is going all sorts, but it's it's all good. Once again, though, we saw the the, uh, the endeavour of Lynn and uh, the, the work rate is is top notch at the moment. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's a few non-negotiables if you play for me, and that's one of them. You've got to give, give everything you can for the shirt, the name on the front, not the one on the back, and that's you know that that's a staple for me. We, people will tell me, well, how's Josh Bar Barrett play? Because if you watch him, because he's working harder now, that's why he's in the side. So, you know, like I said, he he should be on this stage every week. So should some of the others, by the way, in, in my opinion. Um, that's not me trying to sell them, that's just me saying I think they're better players than the level we're at. But such was the dominance, I mean, 1-0 one, one was, was quite kind on, on Doncaster, when you look yeah, at the, I, uh, off the, you know, the efforts and the chances. I, like I said, I thought we, I thought we got to, to create the chances well on occasions. If we'd have scored a goal or two more, then yeah, but they could have scored as well. Like, let's, let's be honest, 1-0 it's, it's, is a great result um, and I'll take it, it's as simple as that. I, look, Danny's only new into the job here, he's going to take his time to do it his way now uh, and I'm sure he'll be successful with it but um, at the minute we've probably caught him at the right time went change of manager the bounce is you know been and gone if you like so you know we'll take it any any advantage we'll take but you, you said to me during the week as well about coming to a place like this and mm -hmm. producing the performance that um, an arena deserves yeah. and you did that yeah I mean the last message and the, and the message at half time was the same I don't want coulda, shoulda, wouldas. We, you know, if you, if you come off the pitch thinking, oh, I wish I'd done that, or I could have done that, or if we did that, but there's none of that going to be left on the pitch. And like I said, I've taken two or three lads off the pitch there who ran themselves into the ground for the cause, uh, and the three that went on 
run in the same footsteps, to be honest. So, uh, listen, it, we should wallow in it because it's a, it's a great moment for the football club. Um, and we look forward now to being in the hat on Monday. Scenes at the end when you all went to yeah. join in with, with the fans. Yeah, listen, they, they, the fans have been fantastic with me and the staff and the players since day one, really. You know, we were in it, we were in a a trough when we, got, when we got here, I think we've created a great atmosphere. We've created a winning atmosphere in the, in the football club, which is what every football fan wants to see. You know, teams that win football matches, and we, that's what we try and do. We don't, you know, brag or, you know, do anything other than do our job. Um, but yeah, I mean, to travel in the numbers that they did, I actually had a, a, an older chap who comes to the home games, run down the stairs crying, which was made me a bit emotional, if I'm honest. So, uh, yeah, it was really, really good. Great day. Lovely to think you've got a second round draw to look forward to. Yeah, I mean, again, without being disrespectful, I hope it's a big, big club. You know, at the end of the day, I think the players deserve that stage. You know, people, your next question is going to be, is it going to affect your league? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. We, like I said, we take every. This will be gone. As soon as we get on that bus, my head is on to Scarborough on Tuesday night. So, all this lovely coverage we're getting today, I'll be on a bus till about five o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, having either won, lost, or drawn at Scarborough. Given the stature of this game, would you rather not have a league fixture during the week? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen, the lads have put in an effort and that'll be, that'll be um, Jonathan's talk, I should imagine. They've, they'll not be able to reproduce that. Well, let's see.